it's time for the comparison you didn't know you need um, I am back I'm here with another disc throwdown this time with three discs all fairway drivers from Innova and uh, I've been interested in uh, a seven speed understable fairway driver for a very long time from the end of a lineup they do have their leopard 3 but that is essentially a leopard this is just a little bit flatter and a little bit uh, faster uh, by the way they uh, have their flight rating system but we but uh, the thing about the Leopard and the Leopard 3 it's got a 1.6 centimeter uh, thick rim and I've been wanting to move up to a 7 1.7 uh, centimeter 7 speed uh, uh, fairway driver because I believe it gives a little bit more distance while providing the amount of control that I want and it would match all the other 7 speed uh, fairway drivers that I use like the uh, FD the TL the T-Bird etc etc the Banshee, so on and so forth. And so, as many of you know, the Leopard has been my favorite and primary fairway driver for probably three years now. And uh, I think this new disc that Innova just created called the It um, may just uh, replace it. We'll see. Um, this is, is apparently a mix between a Leopard and a Roadrunner. So it's a little bit larger rim and the shape is a little bit more like what you get in a Roadrunner and it's designed to go a little bit farther and faster than this Leopard while maintaining a very high level of glide. Let's go take a look at these three discs in greater detail in the studio. As you can see with this Leopard, it's a pretty uh, heavily used and uh, somewhat warm. You can see that the rim is larger on the IT than the Leopard and on the Roadrunner than the others. The flight plate is largely very similar. The flight plate is more domey on the IT. The rim of the IT is more convex than that of the Leopard. The rim is even more convex on the IT than it is on the Roadrunner. And we're back out here in the field. I'm going to essentially throw each of these three discs, one after the other. I'm going to throw the Leopard first, the IT next, and then the Roadrunner so I can see how they compare. I'm going to throw them on the various uh, uh, f flight trajectories, release angles, and we're going to see how it goes.
So what are my takeaways from this comparison? The IT is closer to the Leopard than the Roadrunner in terms of ease of use. The IT is more stable than my Leopard. The larger rim plus the convex shape of it contributes to that. The IT allows for greater distance because of that longer rim and I, I was getting about 10 to 15 more feet of distance with it over the Leopard. Uh, also the IT is almost as easy um, as my beat-in Leopard to lay down rollers. So when I put it on the roller angle, the Anheuser, that was significant, I found it was a lot easier to put this on a roller than it was with the Roadrunner, for my power at least, you know, to create rollers. Uh, the IT is a lot easier to grip than the Leopard. It has a lot more meat to the rim because of its, you know, it's a thicker rim and it's got a lot more to grab because of this convex uh, shape. I think that all three of these discs are great for beginner and novice players and, you know, players around my level, you know, for the first fairway driver or something they want to use, you know, for a while as they're uh, developing more speed and power and efficiency and throwing. But in particular, this Leopard and the IT, I think, are, are easier to use than the Roadrunner if you're a lower power uh, player like myself. <laughs> I think uh, if you're throwing with under 250 feet of power, a slight Anheuser release angle isn't quite enough to get it to turn over. You need more speed uh, or more of an Anheuser angle to get it to either turn significantly as, as it flies or to turn into a roller. The good news is, is these will not become throwers easily unless you have bad form. If you throw them high enough, that will also counteract the Anheuser as it allows the, uh, the disc enough time to start fading out towards the end of its flight. With all that said, I am going to go ahead and add this IT uh, to my disc golf uh, cart. I've temporarily renew removed my Leopard 3 from my cart in order to make room for this. Basically, the Leopard and the Leopard 3 are too similar in my opinion. So if one of them had to go, I might as well get the Leopard 3 out because I think this is a little bit less stable than the Leopard 3 and uh, I like that as essentially my turning driver. That's where the Leopard is for me. So I'm going to keep the Leopard with me on the course and uh, this IT and uh, that said if this Leopard becomes a little bit too flippy I'll probably take it out and put the Leopard 3 back in in its place. But the IT here that is going to stay. Well that's going to do it for this uh, uh, disc throwdown. I hope you liked the video. Please subscribe if you haven't already as I have more disc golf videos on the way. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.